In the emerald landscapes of Ireland, where rolling hills and ancient myths converge, a marvel of prehistoric engineering and cosmic significance awaits. It stands as a testament to the ingenuity and spiritual wisdom of our ancestors, a window into the deep, enigmatic past of our shared human history. It is a sacred site that embodies the mystical connection between our forebears and the cosmos, meticulously constructed to capture the brilliance of the winter solstice sun. But what stories do its ancient stones hold, and what profound insights into the beliefs and knowledge of its creators can we glean from this celestial masterpiece? Join us on a captivating journey through time as we embark on an expedition into the heart of New Branch. Constructed 5,200 years ago in the Neolithic era, the latter part of the Stone Age, the New Grange megalithic tomb was filled with magical artifacts and built with alternating layers of rock and earth. This earthen structure is 1,000 years older than Stonehenge and 600 years older than the Giza pyramids in Egypt. New Grange's construction is an amazing architectural achievement. Furthermore, some claim that it is along one of the most often used UFO flight lines. The New Grange passage and tomb are embellished with exquisite circles, spirals and radials and have a captivating entry stone. Although the ancient art seems to have been created for ornamental purposes, many researchers who are spiritually inclined think that these etchings are metaphoric symbols related to the sun, moon and stars or emblems that create energy. New Grange, according to healers and empaths, has an etheric feel to it, with traces of energy beings that are no longer present in our physical world. They consider the location to be a therapeutic energy source accessible to people from all backgrounds. Leitan locals claim that for as long as they can remember, strange objects have been crisscrossing the night sky. Unaccounted for crop circles have started to occur in nearby locations more lately. The gods seem to be agitated and attempting to speak. Some of the mysteries surrounding Newgrange may lie in Irish folklore. The Tuatha Dé Danann, which translates to people of the goddess Danu in Gaelic, are said to be a magical people group that includes a pantheon of pre-Christian deities. These otherworldly spirits, now known as the Arsai, or fairies, became elusive after losing a great fight against the virtuous ancestors of today's Irish. These luminous entities fiercely defend their dwellings. They remain dependable, reachable, and beneficial even now. Known to the ancients as Brog Mac in Oxu and Sid in Broga, Newgrange is the most impressive and well-known prehistoric structure in Ireland. Who built Newgrange? According to Gaelic tradition, the Milesians, the ancestral inhabitants of Ireland, migrated there from Hispania, Andorra, Portugal, Spain, and Gibraltar, a British crown territory, were all included in Hispania. Upon their arrival, their goal was to vanquish the formidable Tuatha Dé Danann. During the latter moments of the conflict, the opposing factions decided to split Ireland between them. The kingdoms and realms below, collectively referred to as the Underworld, were given to the Tuatha Dé Danann, while the Milesians assumed control of the physical world above the Earth's crust. Over time, the Tuatha Dé developed into Ireland's revered pagans still held in high regard today. This implies that New Grange was constructed by the two of the day. They were renowned for being enthusiastic astronomers and creative farmers. They constructed a mound that is about one acre in size, with dimensions of 93 yards in circumference and 15 yards high. A 21-yard corridor at New Grange opens onto a room with three alcoves that are all precisely oriented to face the morning sun. There are 97 enormous curbstones around this UNESCO World Heritage Site, some of which have magical inscriptions on them. There are others who claim that healing and extraterrestrial communication are possible with the New Grange stones. New Grange is a part of a vast complex of sites that also comprises 35 lesser mounds and the Noth and Dath monuments, which are the biggest. The identically named Visitor Center provides access to this historic multiplex also known as Brogna Boyne, for tourists. What was the purpose of the megalithic tombs at Newgrange? According to archaeologists, Newgrange in Ireland is a tomb including tunnels. In the meanwhile, a large number of scholars, spiritual seekers and intuitives think the location is an old mysterious temple. Newgrange 
was a gateway constructed using astrological and energy principles in addition to its ceremonial significance. The location was a center of worship, power, and significance, similar to a cathedral or mother church. It served as a last resting place for a number of powerful political and religious figures who came there in search of blessings, illumination, and sorcery. Remains of burnt human bones have been found during site excavations, suggesting that at least a few people were buried here after first being incinerated. The practice of an astronomy-based religion seems to have been the main activity at New Branch. However, burial may have been one of the site's general functions. Some claim that the people who lived in New Branch belonged to a sect that worshipped the dead. Winter Solstice and New Branch The winter solstice at New Branch proved that its builders were knowledgeable in astronomy. At this point, the lengthy corridor leading to the temple's main, central room is illuminated by the rising sun. The lens that lets in sunlight is the top box, sometimes called the roof box, which is situated above the main entrance. The Aurora Borealis, which was seen on December 20, 2015, hovering above New Grange, is also noteworthy. Whether you believe in it or not, the majority of tourists to New Grange feel that the location offers a heavenly conduit to pagans, monarchs, and deities. The myths associated with the location were considered by the first monks who cultivated the Grange in its early days to be just as powerful and true as the Christian doctrines. To take a tour of New Branch, visit the Bruna Boyne Visitor Center and board a shuttle bus that can accommodate 24 people. You may participate in the site's yearly lottery to see the winter solstice phenomena. Twelve persons are allowed entry inside the temple's sacred rooms each year between December 18 and December 23. Local school children manually choose the 50 fortunate names each year. Also, a reserve list is created. Those who are not on these lists are welcome to see the winter solstice dawn light immersion from outside the monument. By completing an application on the Brune Boyne website, you may join the lottery. 2019 saw almost 30,000 applications. For some reason, these miraculous seats cannot be transferred. Lou, the warrior king of New Branch. Lou Lemfada, also known as Lou of the Long Arm, is said to have been the spiritual father of New Branch's other world. He was given this moniker due to his exceptional spearing and battling prowess. Lou was a Tuatha Dei Danan member who was sometimes referred to as their most powerful king and savior. He was sometimes compared to the Roman god Mercury. According to legend, Lu and his ethereal family are buried in New Branch. It is also said that Dagda Mor and his three sons are buried in this hallowed sanctuary. New Grange has always had a unique significance. Whether or not you believe in its legend, historical accounts indicate that New Grange once possessed an abundance of fruit trees and an unlimited supply of ale. It was probably a safe refuge for frequent feasts, festivities, and gatherings of the community. Call on Lou and the two of the DA at New Branch to establish a connection with some of the most powerful pagan deities and your ancient friends. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay tuned for more adventures into the realms of history, archaeology, and the wonders of the world. Until next time, may your thirst for knowledge and your sense of wonder remain as timeless as the stones of Newbrain themselves. If you have any suggestions, then feel free to tell us in the comment section below.